You know, most of the time in life, when we aren't sure what to do, we do one of two things. We either conform, which is what most people do. You do what you see everyone else around you doing, or you do what your teacher or your mother or your father or your priest, whoever said you should do. And on the other side is we rebel. So we do the opposite of what we see everyone else doing. But I think for so many people, there is a deep, deep, deep flaw to this way of thinking. And I think in this video, I'm going to give you an insight that will help you quite a lot. What's up, guys? Alex Hine here. Now, before we jump in, I've put together a free goal setting worksheet to help you have the best year ever of your life. So it's the first link right below this video, and it will help you figure out what you want, the daily rituals to make that happen, and an action plan for each hundred days of the year. So check it out right below this video. Now, the inherent problem in this idea of taking anyone's advice is that by definition, most people are average people living average lives. So what that means is that if you are taking the average person's life as an example, you're getting average advice from someone who thinks an average way, who lives an average way, who believes in average beliefs, who has an upper limit on what they think they can achieve. The most fundamental thing is if you want anything other than the average standard life, then you need to be doing something other than the average standard life. And to do that, you probably should not be taking advice from people living the average standard life. You know, so when you take advice from your parents or your friends or a mentor or a teacher, the first question should always be, are they living the life that I want to be living? Because if not, you're going to be getting this person who's built their whole life around average with all due respect. Their whole life is average. They have average thoughts. They have average beliefs. They have an average mindset. They have average actions. Everything invisible and visible has produced mediocrity. Sorry. And you know, an average person is not going to give you exceptional advice because everything that they've built in their life is a manifestation of thoughts and beliefs that they have. So they have the average actions, not exceptional actions. They have beliefs about what you think you can achieve that are not that special. And so I'm very turned off when people say, oh, my friends think this thing or my mom thinks that thing or they said that thing. Well, cool. But are they living the life you want to be living? Now, the second thing I want to leave you with here is Never settle for what you think you deserve. Only settle for exactly what you want. You know, most of the time, what you hear from the average person is that when they give you advice, they're basically telling you to settle. They're almost never telling you to go after the dream and be more ambitious. They're telling you to live a smaller life. So this is a great story that the greatest entrepreneur who ever lived is somewhere in a grave and they were too afraid to take the chance on their dream or on that invention or in that business or on that innovation. The greatest entrepreneur who ever lived never even tried because they were probably too afraid. And a lot of that is due to the voices of the people around us. In my opinion, you should never ever settle for what you think you deserve. You should go after what you actually want. So what do you actually want? Do you want a certain income level? You only believe you can make 50 or 60K because your dad did. What you really want is 150 or 160K because that's the dream life then why don't you figure out how to make that happen? Or how about that person? You think you're only whatever, a five on the dating scale in terms of overall raw desirability, intelligence, personality, looks, being interesting, values, achievement, whatever it is. Well, if you want whatever that holistic 10 is to you, why don't you figure out the kind of person you have to become to be attractive to that kind of person and not just lowering your standards because everyone tells you you should settle because you're 25 or you're 30 and you better be married in two years because the clock is ticking and all the good ones are gone. What about the dream life you want to live in general? How many hours a day do you want to work, right? I primarily work three full days a week. No one says you have to work five or six. Of course, you're going to have to be an entrepreneur. How many days do you want to travel? Like the average American gets like seven to 10 days of travel. I take several months of vacation a year because that's when I need to feel happy and feel like my life is full. Guys, the whole reality you are living in as Steve Jobs said, was created by people no smarter than you. You don't have to settle for anything you don't want. You can design almost virtually whatever you want. So don't ever settle. PSA, off my soapbox, <laughs> done for the day. Again, guys, don't forget, go after what you actually want, not what you think you deserve or what's realistic. Do what you actually want. Because most often you end up getting that. It may take longer than you want, but you end up getting it eventually. All right? That goal setting worksheet right below can help you figure out what you want, how to make it happen. And otherwise, two other videos for you right there.